Hello everyone, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding and I'm here to talk about Star Wars Rogue One. Very excited about this film, saw it in the movie theaters a couple times and absolutely loved it. In my mind it's the perfect Star Wars film and probably the best Star Wars film since the original trilogy. I did like The Force Awakens but I couldn't compare it to the other ones. So let's talk about what you're going to find on this Blu-ray set. So if you get the normal package, you're going to get probably the one with the Blu-ray, the DVD, as well as the uh, Disney Movie Anywhere code to watch the Disney Movie Anywhere. So the one that I got, the review copy, happened to have the Blu-ray and the DVD in it as well. So I was able to check out all the special features first, and that's really what I want to focus on. But let's talk about the movie. It looks and sounds spectacular, as good as the movie theater if not better because I had a more comfortable seat and the popcorn wasn't as expensive, but nonetheless, it's a gorgeous movie. You need to add it to your collection, especially if you're a Star Wars fan. So let's talk about the extras. Okay, as far as the extras for Rogue One, there were about 10 or 11 different features that they had or bonus features on the second disc. They have one disc solely dedicated just to the bonus features, meaning they are in super high definition content and I really appreciated that. Basically, what you're getting are short little stories, anywhere from 10 minutes to about 15 minutes, about the development of the story, as well as the major characters. They start off looking at the beginning of the idea, how they came up with the idea for the story, how they picked the director, and from there they move into the general concepts of the film, how it was created and how it grew over a very short period of time. There are also several different mini features about the different cast, including Jin, Cassius, K2, Baze and Churret, The Empire. There are a lot of great small features on this that help bring the characters more to life as well as the film. I have to admit, I did enjoy the extras a lot. The one that I found very interesting was the look of Rogue One, where they showed how they created Tarkin and Leia and it was very impressive. They brought in actors. Well, I don't want to tell you too much. You need to pick up this DVD and watch it. But it was very well done. So there was one extra that I really liked. It sort of talked about the Easter eggs from Rogue One. That point to the different movies. And there were a lot of Easter eggs that tied back to Episode 4, A New Hope. I know a lot of them that we caught. And there were a few that surprised me. My only problem was that feature was way too short. And I would have loved to have seen about 30 or 40 minutes just based on the little... Uh, hidden references, but that's why we have the Blu-ray now, so we can go by it frame by frame and find all the little hidden details. That's what's important. So overall, I really love the film. I'm so glad to have the Blu-ray in my collection. I think the extras were worth it. Uh, added a lot to the story, as well as a lot to the characters, and gave me some pretty cool behind-the-scenes information that I wasn't aware of, because I stayed away from everything about this film before the release. I didn't watch the trailer or anything and I was so stunned and surprised by it and I enjoyed it. And of course with the Blu-ray you get the entire film, all the extras that we talked about, the DVD, the downloadable, well the code for the downloadable with Disney's movie, Disney Movies Anywhere. Wow, I'm having trouble with that tonight. I'm just so excited I want to watch it again. But definitely if you're a Star Wars fan you need to buy this. If you're a movie fan you're going to love this as well. I have friends who weren't Star Wars fans, huge Star Wars fans, and thought this was almost a perfect movie. Again, I'm George Taylor from Imagine Nerding, and thank you so much for checking out this mini review and sort of unboxing, talking about the extra features for Star Wars Rogue One. I urge you to pick up a copy, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up if you like this video, and leave me a comment. Who's your favorite character in this film? What's your favorite part? Or better yet, what's your favorite hidden reference to one of the other films? Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.